me and say, boy, you don't look like a weightlifter. Then they don't believe I'm a weightlifter because I'm small. Most people say, you're a weightlifter? Funny, you, you don't look like a weightlifter. Well, what's a weightlifter supposed to look like? When most people think of weightlifters, they summon up images of incredibly big and powerful men. The great Soviet super heavyweight Sultan Rachmanov, or America's 1984 Olympic silver medalist Mario Martinez. Weightlifting was once an all-male sport, with most of the attention reserved for the biggest and the brawniest. I was very skeptical, but what's won me over to the sport, and it's not so much a dig me to won me over, is the women who have been in training in, under my, in my gym, under my coaching, is their persistence, their dedication, they have the same qualities and desires and uh, athletic abilities as the men. Any negative myths that uh, you may have heard, uh, they're not true. American women started dispelling those myths about 10 years ago, when a handful of lifters, including Rachel Silverman, Judy Glenny, and Karen Marshall, began training in earnest. There were no competitions for women, so they entered contests for men. But by the mid-1980s, weightlifting had attracted enough women to stage American and international championships. The first international championship was held in Budapest in 1986. Athletes around the world began to take notice, and with seven national championships under their belts, in August 1987, 20 of America's strongest and fastest and most agile women came to San Francisco to try out for a chance to compete at the first ever Women's World Weightlifting Championships. It's speed, it's athletic, it's uh, power, it's a lot of coordination, flexibility, agility, and I don't think many people really understand that. It's really exciting and each workout has different variables and I find it's never boring to train and I love the camaraderie. Women's weightlifting is taking off from Bulgaria to Brazil, from Canada to Cameroon, and American women are among the best lifters in the world. First lifter will be Carol Santandria. 40 the athlete selected at this qualifying meet went on to win a silver team trophy at the World Championships and Karin Marshall won three gold medals for her performance in the 82 and a half kilo class. The self-confidence and the discipline that I've learned and the ability to feel good about myself I think is, the, is my favorite thing. I, of course I enjoy winning medals and lifting big weights but I think it's how it makes me feel as a person is what I enjoy most about it. Despite the incredible gains and accomplishments made by women's weightlifting, the program is still in its infancy and takes a backseat to other amateur sports. <coughs> women's weightlifting has finally entered the international arena, but that's not enough. Women's weightlifters, large and small, from just over 200 pounds to just under 100, have their sights set on making women's weightlifting an Olympic sport. I'm hoping that they'll put it in the Olympics, maybe in 92, and that we'll make that. To reach that goal, American women need your support to encourage more athletes to join the sport, to organize training camps and clinics, to hold local competitions, and to send teams to international meets.